As we saw in our topology overview, we're going to have AutoCAD users at several different locations and perhaps even moving around with laptops. So it's going to be very important that the user can utilize their Autodesk 360 account to make sure that they always have the latest version of their work. And we can even continue that another step and share files between users so that collaboration can occur. But before any of this can happen, you're going to have to set up the synchronization, which is done within a new tab in the AutoCAD options command. So let's go have a look at how that works. Once your Autodesk 360 account has been established and you've signed in, you'll now see a different contextual menu here. First, you'll notice that the Sync My Settings with the Cloud has been turned on. So how do we control which settings are being synchronized to the cloud server? Well, that comes here in Online Options. So let's select this, which brings up the familiar Options command, which now has a new Online tab, which we see here. This allows you to control with some degree of specificity what you actually want to have backed up to the cloud. And up here, you'll see your space utilization, depending on how much storage you have, cloud storage enabled for documents that you would actually like to save. You can have all files automatically saved, or you can specify which documents will be saved when. You can also control how your AutoCAD settings are actually maintained or backed up, if you will, to the cloud server. By default, all your settings are synced, but let's see what you can control by using only selected settings, and then we'll use this dialog to control this. Now here what we see is what's actually being stored at the cloud. All of your options, CUI, printer files, hatch patterns, tool palettes, templates, fonts, shapes, line types. So what we can very quickly start to understand is that everything that makes my AutoCAD operate the way I want it to operate is actually being backed up to the Autodesk 360 cloud environment. This means that I can go to any other machine where I'm using AutoCAD 2013, simply log in to my Autodesk 360 account, and all my settings will now be pulled down so that I can operate at that machine just as if I were on the machine where I created my settings. Now that you know how to configure your machines to take advantage of synchronization in Autodesk 360, you can see how it's going to be very easy to standardize the user experience for your AutoCAD 2013 users. Whether they're sitting at their workstation at the main office, borrowing a machine at a branch office for the day or out on the road with their laptop, it's going to be very easy to standardize the user experience. And that's the principal advantage of using Autodesk 360 synchronization. Now you know what you have to do to get started, and we can move on to see some of the other features.